Hello all, Stephen Williams here. I want to show my new swing tilt design that I put on this uh, modified go-kart to try this thing out. Uh, it works great and it is a blast to drive and it is really simple to actually produce. And it fixes a lot of the problems that you're dealing with with tilting vehicles. But before I get labeled as a tilting heretic for tilting to the outside of the turn versus the inside, we need to ask the question, why are we tilting? If our answer is that we want to design a super, super narrow vehicle to get around, or we want to add a third wheel to a motorcycle, then no, this is probably not your design. But if you're wanting to design a, an extreme, fun, unique riding vehicle that is really comfortable to the drivers, this is a compelling design. When you look at uh, all of the other designs over here with vehicles, uh, you've got to have a complicated tilting chassis. You've got to put a tilt lock on this thing. You've got to deal with uh, steering the, the vehicle between regular steer at low speeds versus transitioning to a balanced steer if you're doing a balanced tilting design. Uh, you've got to deal with uh, power steering uh, hydraulics an electric motor if you go with a force tilt design. You've got to uh, uh, deal with locking the tilt and the front wheels for a free to caster design to be able to reverse backwards. And then you're tilting back and forth like this when you're going in reverse. Uh, when you're going at high speeds and you're trying to bank 45 degrees with a free to caster design, you're having to turn the wheel 180 degrees in both directions over there. You have to deal with power steering with your power force tilt design uh, failing on you at some point in time, which is really serious. You're up the creek without a paddle when that happens. And on a free to caster design, you'll barely be able to tilt about, I mean, steer about 10 degrees back and forth before you lose a thing and it falls over. Uh, and if you are designing a force tilt design with uh, a microprocessor with sensors in the wheels and in the uh, steering column, you've got to worry about being late on the tilt. Hydraulics doesn't work in that. An electric motor will just barely work, but it's still late and working over time to get you to tilt. Uh, the TerraCraft uses an accelerometer gyro to figure the side forces. It took them three years to come up with the filtering software to make that thing work. Uh, but they also tried it with hydraulics and they severed a line when they were doing 45 mile an hour around a bend and it flipped the vehicle completely over because they were in a full tilt and it fell over here and hit the, hit the stops and rolled the vehicle. And so those are the kind of things that you're having to deal with with a force tilt design. Well, in this situation over here, it fixes all of that. You don't need a tilt lock. You can put one on just to get in and out of the vehicle, but you don't even need that. You don't, uh, you're sim simple steering like a car. You're using the same ratio and everything on there. Nothing has changed. When you reverse, it's not tilting all over the place. Uh, you don't need any power assist over here. It's naturally tilting to exactly the right tilt level that you need. So there's nothing to fail in that respect. So the biggest issue is, is this thing going to roll over? So I built a cradle over here and uh, figured out exactly where the center uh, balance point was and then went at one inch at a time. And what I found is that three inches above that line is where I start to get a stable uh, amount. Well, if you tilt the vehicle from a three inch center of gravity 45 degrees, you're barely moving the center of gravity 45 degrees. And I mean, 40, uh, one and a half inches and one and a half inches up. That is not a huge change in center of gravity, and it's only on this portion. The engine, everything else, it's not tilting at all. Uh, at first, I wanted to lock the tilt and to take this thing until it was ready to roll and then compare it with a, it with a tilting. But this thing starts sliding before it ever rolls. I cannot get this thing to roll. And so it's stable at any, you know, no matter what the weight, however you want to steer this thing. Uh, 
The hardest thing to design on this is connecting the steering column of the tilting chassis uh, portion over here to a non-tilting steering box. I connected it straight through to begin with with an expansion joint here to give it room to be able to uh, take it to, to the angles over there and it did fine. Except the steering wheel was turning 45 degrees in either direction. Not good. So I had to really scratch my head to figure out a design but finally came up with one where you can use a universal joint right on the pivot point right over here and if it's perpendicular you can turn it side by side like that and it won't twist the steering column. Well to connect it in that I had a 90 degree Nissan SUV steering box and was able to come in horizontal and straight down and it's working great. If you can come up with a better design than that, I'm all ears on that. But uh, this is a really fun, simple design. And you don't have to have the whole cage rolling. Uh, you could have all of this fixed and just tilt the seat, steering wheel, and the controls. You need about 45 inches on either side in your cabin to have enough room in that. And away you go. And you could put this into a Roadster, fully enclosed vehicle, whatever you like. Anyway, hope that helps on your own tilting design. Thank you.